Howdy, howdy, scholars of the wheel. You're watching Uncle Roundy's Pack Crack and Comfort food Rama. Today we're going to be opening a Core 2019 pack, which represents a mild bit of nostalgia for yours truly, uh, insofar as you can be nostalgic for something that happened two years ago, which I will grant feels like an eternity uh, the way the world is these days. But uh, go back with me to 2019 when uh, my brother got me into the game by getting me my very first deck building toolkit, which was actually a pretty nice way to get into the game. You don't really see deck building toolkits around anymore. If I had to guess, probably because Wizards and Hasbro are not as interested in the pores playing their fancy dancy elf and goblin card game. But that's neither here nor there. I got this pack at a store which uh, in Texas is called Movie Trading Company. And in states that are not Texas, uh, that store is called Vintage Stock. And I was sitting around bored one day. And I was thinking, why is it called Movie Trading Company in Texas? But Vintage Stock, literally everywhere else. And come to think of it, I was like, well, Vintage Stock means a very different thing in Texas than it does everywhere else. If you were in... Uh, if, uh, if a person in Texas saw a vintage stock, they'd probably think that that place was selling cows that need to be put out to pasture. So the name change is, is a salient one. But that is where I went to get this pack. I don't usually go there because there's a, there's a pretty big conflict between their operating hours and my sleep schedule. And it just doesn't really work out. But it worked out today, and I decided to get a Core 19 pack. So let's get going on Core Set 2019. There's some cute stuff in here. Uh, the uncommon slot uh, is really good in Core 19 generally. There's some there's some good value to be found there at times, but we're going to be starting with Anticipate. I wonder if anybody was anticipating that. Ha ha ha. Then we've got the Onake Ogre, the gross, disgusting 4-2 vanilla ogre that nobody cares about and nobody likes. Inspired Charge. Put the Inspired Charge to my credit card. We got Dwindle. Dwindle is a cute little card. Uh, it's one of those cards that when I was first starting the game, I thought was really good. I was like, minus six, minus zero. Well, no toughness reduction, but, uh, but it loses all the power. When Enchanted Creature blocks, destroy it. Kind of like Death Touch, but also not really. Like, I still think it's a fun card, but also not really. Bristling Boar. We got, uh, it can't be blocked by more than one creature. It's like the opposite of Menace. A Hired Blade who has Flash. He's a human assassin. Nice little bit of flavor there. Essence Scatter. Counter target creature spell. I think they reprinted that in Theros Beyond Death with some highly excellent Seb McKinnon artwork. Got the Strangling Spores. He's, he's choking on spores there. Ah, 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 ah. Minus three, minus three until end of turn. Ah. Okay. Getting a little theatrical there. Crash through. Yeah, a lot of this stuff is like... A lot of this stuff I've seen like three or four prints of by this point in my magic playing. It's it's pretty wild. Ha <laughs> ha, Colossal Dreadmaw. The original French vanilla Timmy card. Green, green, plus four. A 6-6 six, six dinosaur trample. Seems really powerful when you're just starting. And you're like, why is that a common? A 6-6 six, six dinosaur? This is super powerful. And then... Then you start worrying about things like removal, and you, you start getting the idea. On to our uncommon slot. We got Tectonic Rift, red plus three, destroy target land, creatures without flying. Can't block this turn. Interesting, interesting. Nightmare's Thirst. This is a pretty solid card right here. I like Nightmare's Thirst. For one black, it's an instant. You gain one life, and target creature gets minus X, minus X until end of turn, where X is the amount of life you gained this turn. Can really, can really add up. If you are tossing the spells around, it's a it's a good time right there. Gargoyle Sentinel, a little less exciting. A 3-3 three, three with Defender. And for 3 until end of turn, Gargoyle Sentinel loses Defender and gains Flying. So it basically works the way you would expect Gargoyles to work. And that brings us to our rare for the pack, which is the Amulet of Safekeeping. Happy travels on our journey for a 2 mana. Whenever you become the target or of a spell or ability opponent controls counter that spell or ability unless its controller pays one creature tokens get minus one minus zero which most tokens are one ones so that kind of kind of really uh 
really puts a damper on their power unless they're being buffed up in some other way. And uh, do we have anything else? We got a land back here. We got our basic land. And we got what else? Anything else in the pack? A token. A soldier token. Tokens look a little different than they used to. They don't have this round arched window anymore. Uh, kind of miss this look. Uh, this is this is how they looked when when I started playing the game. All those all those many 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 decades ago. Wait, it, it was just 2019. It was just two years ago that I started playing Magic. Now look at me. I'm opening packs on YouTube and and having a good old time. And there we are. A little trip, little trip back to 2019. Not a terribly uh, not a terribly profitable one, I don't think. Although I do I do maintain that Nightmare's Thirst is a pretty solid spell, but. That's our, that's our little time traveling trip for today. I'll see you guys next time.